let's build a face detection app using Python and OpenCV in this particular video. This is a cool project that combines computer vision and real-time processing. By the end of this project, you'll have an app that can detect faces in images or through your webcam. And we probably use mostly webcam for this. Uh, so for just to go over the project overview, we will need four things. You set up OpenCV in Python, capture a video stream from the webcam, and then use a pre-trained model to detect faces and draw rectangles around detected faces. That's what we will be doing in this particular. So first step is to install OpenCV. But before we even install OpenCV, let's create a Python environment. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop, clear everything out. And here, as you know, Python-M VN for virtual environment. And I'm gonna call this face recognition. And then let's source it. Source face recognition slash bin slash activate. So this will activate my virtual environment. And now let's go ahead and uh, first install the OpenCV library. So that we can do by saying pip install OpenCV dash for Python. It will take some time, install everything. And once that is done, so this next step, I think I have the steps here. So first step, the second step is set up the Python script. So I am going to my sublime text and here I am going to write the code uh, for loading the OpenCV and setting up face recognition. So first import CV2. I'm gonna save it first so I can see colors. I like to see colors on desktop. I'll save up. Let's do this again, file, save as, and this time I'll call it face recognition dot py. So that's the name that I'll give, save it. And now I'll have my Python colors to make it bigger. So Python CV2, this will import our library. Next, we'll load a pre-trained Har cascade classifier for face detection. That's one of the things that is available. So I'm gonna say face, cascade cascade equal to cv2 dot cascade classifier and inside let's say cv2 dot data dot the one library that we need which is our cascades plus the entire path of it usually goes like this. You say our cascade, I hope I don't misspell anything. Uh, and then I'll say frontal face is what I want. Frontal face detect default dot XML. That's where we, let's see our cascade frontal face dot default. That's what we need. So that's perfect. So now that we have the pre-trained model, Next step is to initializing the webcam. To initialize the webcam, if you're already familiar with it, if not, it's cv2 dot video capture of zero. So this will start my webcam. Next, I'm gonna run it on a loop. I'm gonna say while true, so it's infinite loop, I'll capture frame by frame. So for that, I'll say ret frame equal to cap dot read so it's going to read the frames inside here next i'm going to convert to grayscale for detection it's much easier to detect with grayscale instead of full uh, color pattern so cv2 dot cvt color pass the frame and i'll say cv2 dot color underscore for grayscale we have to say bgr2 gray so this will make sure that our uh, entire images, the frame is con converted into grayscale. Now, next thing is we have to detect faces. So for that, I mean, I have steps added here, uh, load OpenCV and set up face detection, that's what we're doing, and then we'll run the script. So let's detect the faces. To detect the faces, we have to do face underscore cascade uh, dot, uh, it's uh, default, I think it's uh, detect multiscale function, detect, multi-scale function. I've done a bunch of times, so that's why I remember these, but these are available in the documentation for CV2. 
comma 4. Now we'll draw rectangles around the face. Once the faces are detected, we need to add rectangles around the face so we know that it has detected the faces. So for that, uh, what I'm going to do is for all the coordinates, so we need x, y, width, and height in faces. So depending on where they are, I'm going to say cv2 dot rectangle and pass the frame, I'll pass the x comma y and uh, x comma y and I think I'll have to pass uh, next one is the, the, these are the coordinates. So frame starts and then x comma y is the initial coordinates and x plus width. So for the other end, y plus height uh, and then I'll have to give the color for that uh, for that for that rectangle 25500 and comma 2 so this is what I this is the border size so once i have that my board my my rectangle will be created and will be added added around the face that is detected or multiple faces that are available once i have done that i am going to display my i am going to say it's uh, i think to display the output i am sure a function is used and over there, call, call it face detection, comma, frame. Pass that back. Now, once I have that, I'll break the loop. So break the loop of on Q, key press. So if you press, let's say Q, uh, uh, because you want, it's a while loop, and I want them to exit sometime. So I'll say CV2. You can just kill the application. That is another way, but it's always better to give a way out of a while loop or infinite while loop. So I'm going to say and uh, the key pattern is 0 x ff is equal to if that is ORD of Q. This is how you can check if Q is pressed and if it's pressed then I'll say break out of this while loop and then I'll have to also make sure that I release the cap release the capture and close windows. So I'm going to say cap dot uh, release that's the function that you call to release it and cv2 dot destroy uh, all windows so that will close all the windows that's perfect and that probably takes care of the face recognition so if you followed along and if you had any issues let me know but i am ready to run the script so i'm going to go here and then run the script let me clear this out by saying Python, what is the name of my face recognition.py? I'll run it, it will open my camera. Let me be ready. Oh, it gave me an error. Uh, I think I've used this method. I, there's a typo or something. Let's look at it again. So, looks like our problem is not here, but here instead of cascade, I said cascade. Let's go back and run it again. And there you go, my camera is on and it is tracking my face. Also, I can uh, get on my phone, let me get some more faces so we can see how it looks like. So I'm going to go into open my images and just randomly pick any image and you see it put circles, square rectangles around the faces. I can kind of change the and it will put circles around faces. So that's how this works. I hope. Uh, uh, it worked for you. If it doesn't, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I can get back to you uh, as soon as possible. Thank you.